Good afternoon everybody, Colin here with Tech Out. Today we're going to be upgrading my Asus um, laptop here, my ROG laptop. We're just going to be putting in a bigger SSD basically. This is actually the SSD that came out of my desktop when I upgraded that one. Um, so that SSD is a little bit bigger. The one in here now I think is 120 gigabytes. This one's uh, 250. So we'll get a little bit extra space. Um, right now we're just downloading the Windows installation. Um, so once we get the new SSD in, we can put the put Windows back on it. So as soon as that's done, we're going to go ahead and shut it down, pop it open, swap out that SSD. So as soon as that's done, um, we will go ahead and start. Like I said, it's, it's almost done. It's 97% right now. We're going to be using the iFixit um, toolkit here. All my drivers and everything in it. Let's see, I want to say it was this one right here. It's the one that opens this computer. Alright, so we are done there. Go ahead and shut it down. Alright, so couldn't find a flash drive, so I just used an SD card and a USB adapter. Let's see if I was right. Indeed I was. So this computer is, is very, very simple. Um, to open up, you just undo your screws. Set them aside. Now with this computer, there are, um, there are a couple longer screws. So just remember where they go. Um, they usually go in the, the spots that are a little bit raised up here. Okay, so all the screws have been removed. Now for this, I usually just take one of these iFixit tools right here in the corner. Um, you can get up underneath it. Here, and then your SSD is right above that. Put this one back, and we're going to need a small uh, Phillips screw to open that up. Not open it up, but release it. Let's see. Screw is in there kind of tight. Obviously you don't want to strip out the screw, this one is in there. Pretty good.
they've got that in there tight. Let me see if I can find another screwdriver that's a little bit bigger. I can't get this out. They have it in there so tight. Okay, there we go. Got it out with the flathead. They had that screw in there so tight that it was stripping out. That's ridiculous. Okay, so it's got a little thermal pad under there. You can leave that there. We're going to take that one out going to go ahead and put the new one in, put it back down, we're not going to wedge the screw in there so tight this time that it doesn't come out if we ever need to remove it again, so we're going to use a reasonable amount of force this time, unlike uh, the machine or person that put this together before, we're going to Put the cover back on, just go around the edges and snap it down. If you miss a spot, it will snap down when you put the screw in. Like I said, your long screws are going to go on the thickest portion of the case, so up along the top here. I usually put the long ones in first, that way I know I have them all in. And And right here, and then it's going to be your short ones around the edges. Very, very easy. If you put a long one in one of the short, um, short holes, you will know because you cannot get it to screw down all the way, and it will stick out of the hole. I usually put the screws all in first and then just go around and tighten them down. Just easier that way than having to go back and forth grabbing screws. I'm going to go back to our star bit here. Now this SSD does have windows installed on it, but we are going to go ahead and do a clean install because this installation came from my desktop. So we don't need all the stuff that's installed on there and I just want to start fresh on the laptop. I didn't have any programs or anything really on the laptop that I can't re-download, um, so I don't have any reason to do a backup and restore from it or do a data migration from the existing SSD, so I'm not going to do that. Like I said, I'm just going to do a fresh install. We will have to go to the ASUS uh, website and re-download the drivers and all the stuff on here for like the keyboard, the, the RGB keyboard and stuff like that, but that's not a big deal. Okay, I think that is all of them. Don't see any that are loose. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it back over. As you can see, that was pretty straightforward. We're going to grab our installer, 
right here on our SD card. I'm going to plug that back into a USB port. And on this laptop, it is the escape key to get to the uh, boot manager. So you can choose where you want to boot from. So right here, we're going to go to, um, let's see. I think we have to add this as an option. We want to go... See, we're going to go to F8. Let's see. Don't know if that. Let's try booting from that and see if that's the one we want. Yes, so you can see the light's flashing away on the, sorry you can't see it, the light is flashing away on the reader so it looks like it is booting from that. Give it a second, it is booting over USB, so it's going to take a second. Okay, so we are at Windows Setup here. I'm going to go ahead and hit Next, Install Now. So this, that is the Drive Zero Partition 1 is going to be our, our hard drive in here. The 238 gigabytes right here is going to be our SSD we installed. So we're going to get rid of both of these partitions right here. And we're going to choose Drive 1 and hit Next. So like I said, that um, I know you guys can't really see the screen too well, but it had two drives in there. We do have a, a physical hard drive installed, and then we have the SSD. So it was giving us an option for both of those. You can install Windows to the hard drive if you would like to, but I don't recommend it. It's going to be a little bit slower. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's going to go ahead and install Windows now, and after that we're just going to have to reinstall the drivers and software packages for things like the RGB keyboard um, and software for the, for the um, computer that it originally came with if you want to use those features. But that's basically it, doing a, an upgrade on that. This has been Call of Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as 